Hello, welcome back to the channel. Hello, so yes, it has been some time since I uh, put a video out. I think it was about two months. Uh, last time we was down at Windsor. Um, and obviously we've we've not done a great deal since then. We've been busy with work and everything else in between. So yeah, so there's not really an awful lot happened, but I just thought I would uh, put a little video out just to let you know that I'm all still here uh, and, and sort of what I've been up to in the meantime. Um, I've been sort of trying to invest in a little bit more of um, camera or video equipment, should I say. Um, one of the last comments that I got on the video was the audio quality wasn't the best. And in fairness, it, it wasn't. It was it was a bit bit dire, for want of a better word. Um, so I've got my Osmo Pocket now, which is absolutely superb. I'm currently filming it on my phone, which is kind of ironic. I've got the Osmo Pocket. Um, I've invested in the Osmo extension rod. So that's basically an extension stick that gives you about three foot extra in height and reach, but I'll show you that in a bit. Um, I've also got an adapter which fits to the phone and to the Osmo Pocket so it gives me a bigger display screen. I've got um, a couple of microphones, um, various cold shoe mounts, various other bits, basically making it a little bit better video quality and not picking up on sounds that you don't really want to be hearing. Um, I've also ordered um, a little... Um, Lavellia mics, so it's one of these that, that clips onto the clothing so I can film and it'll it'll pick it up. I did want a wireless one, but I just thought for the cost of them, it, it's not really worth it for the time being. But um, anyway, um, what have we got coming up? Um, we've got the chippy meet coming up tonight. Um, we're also having a run through the Blackpool, the famous Blackpool Illuminations. Um, so we're going to try and do that. We did try and do that last month, but it turned out that every single event in Blackpool was on on the same night that we wanted to do it, so we passed. So tonight, hopefully, we are going to do the Blackpool Illuminations run. Um, but first, going to the Shark Chippy in Fleetwood. If you're near it, opposite Asda in Fleetwood, best chippy in town. Brilliant. So yeah, so that's what's coming up. Got the van in for its dreaded MOT tomorrow, fingers crossed. I suspect it's going to need a new exhaust which I could really do without coming up to Christmas but there we go anyway enough waffling let's get on with the things that I've bought and I'll show you what they look like cheers okay so what goodies have we bought so the first thing and I will apologize about the light in here it's actually bouncing down so it's, it's gone like midnight um, is this it's the Boyer BYMM1 shotgun microphone now it's actually incredibly good uh, I don't know if you've heard of the Boyer make but they do an awful lot of microphone and a lot of sort of studio equipment so you get this you also get various cables and jacks and mics and everything uh, not mics sorry jacks and cold shoe mount to mount it to whatever device that you are using um, with mine I actually got an extension piece let's get these out of the way so this part here the microphone sits in there let's just get that on into there so the microphone sits in there like so this end then attaches to the bracket or whatever you want it to attach to be it a cold shoe mount or the back end of the adapter that the phone's plugged into or, or anything basically because it's got the uh, standard mounting points there you can even stick it onto a tri tripod or a separate uh, separate device and basically you plug that end into the phone or whatever device you're using so that is basically a, a directional microphone so if i'm talking i can just basically talk into this end and it will just pick my voice up if you talk from the side, obviously it doesn't pick an awful lot of voice up from there. It's mainly directional, so it's whichever way the microphone is pointing. What I also sort of should have said is you also get one of these. Now this is called a dead cat. Basically muffles any wind noise. So if you need to put that on, basically place the microphone inside like that. And that muffles any wind or any, any interference that you're going to get. 
um, possibly rain as well but we'll no doubt try that out later on but uh, yeah that also comes with a microphone great bit of kit I think it was about 20 I think it was about 27 pound off Amazon so all in all pretty chuffed with that so the next item I got was this sort of small fairly inconspicuous piece of plastic slash metal basically when you get the DJI Pocket you don't actually get a microphone attachment with it I think that Boya now do one which has got a USB connection on it so you don't necessarily have to buy this but in order for any of the headphones to work you need the official DJI adapter so basically this will go into the bottom of the pocket and then at that end you can see it's got standard jack for microphones headphones anything like that so that's another little piece of the puzzle that we bought um, yeah bit of a silly price for that but needs must and it works so <laughs> that's the main thing okay so the next bit of kit is this and this is the DJI extension rod now this is absolutely superb um, I think this was about and I got this off um, a website called heli guy now they always seem to have deals on a lot of DJI equipment and it's absolutely superb so basically what you do is you open this bracket on the side here the actual Osmo pocket slides into this device there and it locks into place so it basically doesn't go anywhere okay so then this can extend up to I think it's just over about three feet obviously I won't show you because I'm only limited on space but you can adjust it to however you want it you can have it you know always you can have it wherever you want basically so at this end you have this which opens out and your phone will sit in there now if you've got the wireless adapter for the Osmo pocket that will obviously be sat on the bottom it will wirelessly pair to your phone which is sat in here and you basically control the Osmo Pocket from the handset on here. So this isn't actually a charged unit. This draws all its power from the Osmo Pocket. So when you connect it up at this end, all the power is drawn and it's used on this. So you've got a directional thing here, a little joystick for uh, moving the gimbal around. You've got various record buttons, take photographs, various other function buttons, lock buttons for various different things on there. But as I say, so once that is once that's connected, you get a good three about three and a half foot reach. Um, plus, with the option added extra of being able to control the gimbal from your hand, um, is absolutely brilliant. So if you need to see over in crowds or anything like that, uh, then that is an absolutely superb kit. And I think if it is not absolutely pouring down tonight, which it is doing now, that may very well be used at our illuminations cruise to get some footage and get some uh, pictures of the vehicles at the chippy and last but certainly not least is this little device now you'll notice that the camera's gone a little bit shaky because i've had to move it out of this device to hold it so i can show you what it is so basically camera the phone goes in here the uh, little connector from the osmo pocket comes out the side osmo pocket sits in there and that gives you a bracket to hold the phone and the osmo pocket as one div as one item because when the actual osmo pocket is is switched into the phone or plugged into the phone should i say it's a little bit it's a, it's a little bit sort of wobbly and a little bit loose and i don't really like sort of carrying it around when it's not sort of held into place but this device holds everything into place now this was actually off aliexpress um there is a company called Yolanzi that do one um and PGY Tech that do one um now they're sort of upwards of like 17 18 quid and it for what they are I don't want to be paying stupid money so this I think was about 7 quid it's not a branded one but it's actually it's aluminium I think it's aluminium um but it's really quite quite a weighty item this is all rubber inside and there's rubber at the top and there's rubber at this side so it doesn't sort of obviously scratch and it grips quite well but the best part about it is it all just closes up and that is basically the size of this device which is absolutely brilliant and it works a treat it's also got the mounts at the bottom for you can mount it on tripods or anything else 
It's also got the cold shoe mount on the top, so you can sort of attach these sort of things um, and actually have that as the speaker. I did actually try it with the speaker, hence why I put the this arm on, because when you put the pocket on, because that arm doesn't reach enough, you tend to pick up the dead cat from the speaker, so it all gets a little bit awkward and you sort of see a big furry thing in the corner, which you don't always want to see. So yeah, so that's that's the little devices. So hopefully now we can uh, get a bit more video quality, get a bit more sound quality, um, and we can take it from there. So I shall hopefully now um, be able to get some decent images. But anyway, on to the chippy. Good morning. Well, it's the day after the night before. Now, unfortunately, the... Um, illuminations cruise didn't happen uh, we did have the chippy meet which was brilliant uh, but unfortunately just before we were about to set off the heavens opened it absolutely poured down it must have been a good hour of just torrential rain so we just thought do you know what it ain't worth it so we stayed at the chippy kept warm under the chippy hut the canopy and stayed there where it was warm next to the fryers so that's what we did so anyway so that unfortunately didn't happen in other news the van also failed its mot now i'll be honest with you i have never had a vehicle yet that it has passed its mot the first time round. anyway fortunately this time it only um failed on the exhaust which was um expected because it did sort of go in a good couple of months ago just for a few bits to be done um, and I did ask them to have a look at the exhaust but it was a little bit holy shall we say um, it's a little bit more holy now um, it has been welded we are back on the road but we are now on the hunt for a stainless steel system now I think I might have found one now you may have heard of these this company called PP tuning um, I'm not going for a full system um, so it's going to be a cat and then it's going to be a side exit but it's I've, I've not seen these before on their website it's actually made for vans with sidebars so the actual pipes go under the sidebar and then the face of them actually just sits flush with the sidebar so that's hopefully what we're going to uh, what we're going to try and get uh, but yeah so unfortunately <laughs> that is it for this video hopefully in the next video I will have some Lano guard um, and I'm going to hopefully get some of that on the underside of the van. Um, but obviously, we shall see. But anyway, thanks for watching as ever. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you fancy it. If not, we don't mind. But give us a like. Anyway, cheers for now. See you in the next one.